Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to make this quick video and post it for you because I had someone message me this week on Facebook and he asked the question of, you know, the intimacy in his relationship has just kind of dwindled and he wanted some advice and tips on how to get it back to maybe the way it once was. So I don't really know the situation um, in his relationship. So in my mind, I'm thinking of two different scenarios. One scenario one is you know, a couple that are married and they have kids and they just don't really feel like they have the time always to be intimate because their lives are so, so busy at this stage of their relationship. Um, and then scenario number two would be the couple that maybe they don't have kids or they're a little bit older and their kids have grown up or whatever. Um, and the, basically they have time to be intimate and they're still not intimate. So I'm going to go over both scenarios. So scenario one, for the couples that have young children or just children in general and the kids have busy lives and schedules um, and they don't always put in the time with each other. You know, this is something that's so common in relationships and it's because, you know, we love our kids so much that we give so much to our children and they 100% deserve it, but we sometimes forget to kind of give to ourselves and to give to our partners. And I know I'm a mother and I know hands down I can feel that guilt for wanting to do something for myself or not do something for my son because I'm putting myself first at times. And I think that that just can come with the territory. But the reality is is that when you're not taking care of your relationship with your husband or your wife or your spouse, when you're not, you know, taking care of yourself, it is affecting your kids. You know, even though when we're young and we see our parents kissing or doing whatever, we're like, ugh, it's gross. But at the end of the day, all children want is to see their parents have that connection with each other. You know, when they become adults, they look back and say, oh my God, my parents were crazy about each other. And like, you know, once a week they went on a date night or once a month they went on a date or whatever it is that works for you, your relationship and your family, but your children see that you put your relationship as a priority because it is. You know, they may not think it's amazing in the time, right at the time, you know, they might think it's disgusting that you guys are holding hands or hugging or flirting in the kitchen or something like that. But, you know, when they look back on your relationship, it's something that they're gonna want in their own relationship. Remember, the kids are not just learning by what we tell them, they're learning by what they see. So if they see that mommy and daddy are never, you know, connecting or never making themselves a priority by going out and having a date night, then they'll, it's just a pattern. Then they may do the same as well. And we don't want that for our kids. And we don't want it for ourselves. You know, we want to have that intimacy back with our partner. And we need to make it a priority. So if you're a woman and you need to feel, you know, sexy and attractive, like, when you're going to be intimate with your husband or partner, then you need to give yourself time to get there and or to you know get yourself ready so you feel amazing. And if you're a man and maybe you feel unattractive because you've put on a few pounds, you need to make it a priority to work out and go to the gym. And it doesn't mean that you're neglecting the kids, it just means you're making yourself a priority. And again, this isn't something that we're gonna do all the time every day, it's just about as much as you can, consciously making a decision to put your relationship up on that priority list um, so you can have that intimacy back in your relationship. The second scenario is the couple that has all the time in the world and they're still not intimate with each other. And this is very, very common, you know, either if we didn't have children or if we're just an older couple. Um, and the one thing that I always tell couples is you know, when you've been with someone for so long, obviously parts of the relationship that you have now are not the same as the way it was in the, in the very beginning. And it's about getting back to that. So one of the things that I see often with couples that just there's no passion, love, anything there, it's the respect, it's they're not on the same page, it's the communication isn't the way it should be. You know, we don't just have, you know, a physical relationship with our partner. It's emotional as well. And for women, it's probably more emotional than it is for men. But men, it is too. You know, no man wants to be intimate with a woman that doesn't respect him or make him feel like a man. So one of the things that I would suggest is, and we can't focus on 
our partners, right? Like we can't change our partners. We can only change ourselves. So what I want you to do in this situation is if you're in a relationship and you notice that the intimacy is lacking or it's completely gone, you need to ask yourself, what are you doing that's different than what you did in the beginning of your relationship when the intimacy was spot on and it was amazing and you know, it was happening more often definitely than it's happening right now. Like what did you, what are you doing right now that you're not doing that you used to do? You know, like we get so comfortable with our partners that we often don't do something as simple as just being thankful for them. And what I mean by thankful for them, I mean literally saying thank you. So, you know, if your husband just worked a full day and he gets home, honey, thank you so much for working a full day. Like, I know you probably had a tough commute and I can't imagine like what a stressful day you must have had. Like, I just wanted to say like, thank you so much for taking care of the family, you know? Or if you're a man and you come home from a full day of work and your house is destroyed because you have two or three kids or even one kid and your wife's home all day with the children, thank you, honey. Like, I can't imagine what it must be like to be cooped up in the house all day. You know, you went grocery shopping and the kids were probably, you know, going through that you know, four o'clock madness that all kids go through. Just thank you so much for holding down the four and taking care of us the way you do and raising the kids the way you do. And just all of that stuff that we should be saying to each other. I think that we don't do that often for each other. Um, and being respectful of each other. And so, you know, if you're lacking some intimacy in your relationship, then it's time to do the things that you did in the beginning of the relationship that brought that intimacy out in yourself and in your partner. So if you're a guy, you can't just walk through the door and, you know, expect your spouse or a wife or girlfriend or whatever to just give it to you. Like there's work involved and you did the work in the beginning of the relationship. So it's time to get back to that because it's what she needs to feel attracted to you. So she'll want to be intimate with you. And same thing with a woman, you know, if your husband or boyfriend is not you know, as intimate as he once was, you know, are you doing the things that you did in the beginning of the relationship? Are you so thankful for the little things that he does for you? You know, do you tell him thank you? Do you make him feel like a man? You know, every guy wants to be with a woman that not only supports him, but makes him feel like a man. That's like so important for them. And are you doing that for him? So that would be my advice to getting your relationship back to the way it used to be. And most often when I've coached couples, and I'd ask them, you know, what, what has changed? You know, what are the things that you did in the beginning of the relationship? And they'll list it off. They'll say, well, you know, every now and then I would bring flowers home or every now and then I would, you know, make his favorite meal or whatever it is that used to really be the things that hit home for your partner. They admit that they don't do it now. You know, they almost like take the other person for granted and then want the same perks or benefits of the relationship that they had in the beginning. And it doesn't work that way. It takes work. So do the things that you need to be doing to get your partner um, and your relationship back to where you want it to be. So I hope that helped everyone out there that's either dealing with the same issue and I hope the viewer is watching this video as well. And let me know if you guys have any comments or questions. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you next week.